Come on in, guys! <laughs> God, I can't even. What's going on, guys? Race Lee over here at Full Tilt Bike Co. Last week, you guys talked with World One Times Two Sean Day about personal handlebar techs and tips. Today, we're gonna take a little bit more of a deep dive into one of BMX's most unique handlebars, the Renthal Moto BMX Bar. Before we get into the product itself, we should take some time to familiarize you guys with the brand of Renthal. While they aren't a huge player in BMX racing stateside, they are the winningest brand in moto. Revered as a global leader in manufacturing and design, Renthal has the experience and resources to build top shelf products. As you will learn here soon, they've done just that with the moto line of handlebars. Now, Creating a high-end racing product starts at the production level. Decisions made here can make or break the performance of any final production product. Thankfully for us, Renthal has followed tradition and made strategic decisions that set this bar apart from any others on the market. One of these decisions being producing the handlebars from heat-treated 7000 series aluminum. This not only shows the attention to detail Renthal pays, but also the quality of products used in production. Come on in guys, come on down. Let's get a little bit closer and talk about a certain feature that might be important when you're not only looking at the finish of these handlebars, but the performance. One of the decisions that Renthal made when producing the Moto series of handlebars is implementing the shot painting process. Millions of small steel pellets are shot at the handlebars, leaving a small textured finish all across the bar. This media blasting process is proven to increase the handlebars fatigue cycle, leading to increased durability, <laughs> overall stiffness. In other words, these handlebars are incredibly strong and last the toughest riders multiple seasons. This is something that other aluminum bar offerings can't do for pro size riders. Now, we're gonna take it downtown. We're gonna talk a little bit more about the actual factory dad performance of these handlebars. To push weight savings even further, <laughs> to push weight savings even further, Renthal offers their handlebars in an anodized finish. This allows the coloring of the material to get deep into the pores, leading to reduced slippage and increased clamping for your stem areas. All in all, the Renthal Moto handlebar is one of the lightest options for the best price on the market. Coming in at just a little over $100, this is an optimal choice to make your front end a lot lighter. Now you guys already know that they're lightweight and a good quality bar. Now let's talk about the most important specs, the geometry. Renthal bars are offered in three different heights. So a five and a half cruiser rise, a seven and a half rise, and an eight and a quarter rise. They also come with a 12 degree back sweep and a two degree up sweep for the most comfortable positioning, what I feel, is for your hands. Personally, when it comes to back sweep, in my opinion, I like a more swept handlebar. This 12 degrees of back sweep offered here gives me a better feel out of the gate for where I'm actually positioning my, my form, as well as around the track when I'm trying to get through the jumps, manually jumping, I feel more in control of the bike and have a smoother riding profile. Personally, the reason I run Renthal handlebars is the cool factor. I started in moto, saw the moto handlebar come out and just knew that I had to have a pair. I actually used to ride flat bars um, with like three degrees back. Swapped over to the Renthal moto bar a couple years back and kind of fell in love with the aspects of a bar with more back sweep and the control that I feel around the track. And with that, I also just got the benefits of having a handlebar with incredible material. They ended up being really lightweight and the actual standout factor worked exactly like I would. Everybody's kind of always asking why I have these bars, what are these bars, and uh, they're finally back in stock, so make sure you go get yourself a set. All right, that's pretty much all that you guys need to know when it comes down to my personal handlebar specs, as well as the Moto Bar produced by Renthal. As you can see, there's many features that set this handlebar apart from others on the market. But the question still remains, are these bars right for you? Make sure you let us know in the comments down below what you think of the Renthal Moto Bar and if you're gonna pick a setup. Also, are you guys liking the content? We're getting a lot of positive feedback, but we always wanna make sure we're producing what you guys wanna see. So make sure you let us know where we need to head. Now, you can find these bars along with many other options at fulltiltbike.com. 
And as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. My! <laughs> Thank God I'm free for a week. Ah. <sighs>